Welcome back, it's Mr. Gilliard. All right, so far we've learned the notes on recorder. G, thumb, three fingers. We've learned A, we've learned B, we've learned C. We've also learned that in order to play the recorder properly, you need to make sure that both of your hands on the recorder. Your left hand needs to be up at the top. Your right hand, your thumb should be right below this fourth hole right here. One, two, three, fourth hole. Your thumb should be right in back of there to help balance it off. The recorder sits on your lip because it's curved, it sits on your lip, and when you're playing your recorder, you're going two, 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 not hoo, hoo, hoo. You're not doing that. Instead, you're going two, two, two. Okay. So, that brings us up to our next note that we're playing, our next note that we're playing. And you absolutely, positively have to have both hands on the recorder. There is no other way to do it properly. You need both hands on the recorder. The next note is D, D, D. D is played with your second finger covering the second hole and no thumb hole. So now the recorder is going to be balanced by nothing else but your thumb, this finger, and it's sitting on your lip, like this. If you move your lip out the way, the recorder is going to fall. If you move this finger out the way, the recorder is going to fall. If you take this finger out from underneath, the recorder is going to fall. So please make sure that... Wouldn't it be really annoying if you had somebody with a whistle like that in between their two teeth and every time they talked, you heard it whistle something like this? Okay, total other distraction. I'm sorry, I have adult ADD, like most band directors. Okay, so the note D, 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 D. We also have been introduced here to another time signature, 3-4. Now, in 3-4 time, there are three three beats in each measure. So the beats go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, which is a little bit different from most of what we're used to because most of our songs are in some sort of two or four. One, two, one, two, one, two, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, three beats in each measure. We also get introduced to another new type of note here, a dotted half note half note with a dot next to it. Dotted half note. Now, why does the dot and the half note seem to take up all the space by itself? Well, the dotted half note gets three beats. The dotted half note gets three beats. The reason for that is really simple. Whenever you put a dot next to a note, it increases the note by one half of its original value. So for example, if you had a quarter note, if you had a quarter note, quarter notes normally get one beat. But if you put a dot next to it, it now gets one and a half beats. One and a half beats. Because if it gets one, then half of its original value is half. So in this case, a half note normally gets two beats. Half of it is one beat. So a, quarter, a dotted half note is simply the equivalent of a half note and a quarter note added together. Dotted half note. Cool. Half of its original value. Half of its original value is one, so two plus one is three. That's how long you hold it for. Okay. Now, we get into the actual playing. Dotted half note is three counts. We're in three, four. This song is called In May. I've written out the last line of it here on the board so that you can play along with us at home. Print off the worksheet of it, and you should be able to see it for yourself. First, let's name our notes. Let's name our notes, starting right here at the beginning. One, two, three, let's start together. D, B, G, A. D, B, G, A. G, A, B, C, D, C, B, B, A, G. And I messed up down here at the end because I was thinking about the second, I was thinking about the first line of the song when I wrote, and I wrote in the wrong note. All right, there we go. Now there's a G instead of an A, and I'm saying G all over the place. Cool. Now there's a G down at the end. All right. So, 
Let's see what happens when we play it. One, two, three, ready, and play. Pretty cool. So, we've got five notes down on the recorder so far. G, A, B, C, and D. With that, there's a plethora of songs that we can play that the main melody only use five notes. Example, Jingle Bells. Almost. <laughs> Jingle bells. Only five notes. Um, another one. Hmm. Oh, to joy. Now, there are at least a, there are probably a whole bunch of other songs that we can play out there that also use just those first five notes. So, um, take your recorder, play around with it, have fun. I also have some links here at uh, mrgilliardmusic.com to some other places where you can pick up some recorders aside from music and arts, just in case you're interested in buying one. And that's pretty much it. So, we've got five notes down. I'll be back with more lessons coming up soon. See ya!